Hi guys and welcome to the School of Drawing. My name is Tim and I'm going to be your instructor on this course, Drawing Natural Forms. This course features a host of animation, lots of different film styles, supporting assignments and comprehensive downloadable worksheets. This course is for complete beginners and there's no need to have any experience of drawing at all. My freelance career started as a cartoonist with The Guardian newspaper, and now I'm the author of several art and design education books. Drawing has always fascinated me, and I've learned from some of the best teachers, in person, online, and from books. From Renaissance artists to character creators behind some of the big blockbuster films, I'm always ready to soak up new ideas. The art and design books I've written include The Field Guide to Drawing and Sketching Animals, which was ranked one of the top 20 best nature drawing books of all time by Book Authority, Watercolour, The Natural World, and my latest book, Drawing the Natural World, in which I share many of my practical tips and techniques. My work has featured in the Artists and Illustrators magazine, been reviewed by BBC Wildlife. I'm also on a judging panel for the Royal Society of Biology for the Nancy Rothwell Award, where we look at children's investigations into all sorts of plants and animals. I've chosen to focus my creative outlet on teaching, because this is where I feel I'm at my best. My experience of writing and teaching drawing internationally has led me to the conclusion that what the majority of people look for in a course is the maximum amount of accessible and fun information in one place that's gonna help them speed up their ability to draw from observation. I have endeavored to ensure that every lesson in this course is full of vital information. And it's also led me to reflect on actually what do I do when I draw? This course is bursting with animations, location sequences, and a host of step-by-step -step tutorials. For me, mastering the art of drawing consists of overcoming a number of difficulties, such as the still life, the landscape, drawing architecture, figure drawing, and so forth. I see a clear difference between the skill set required to sketch animals and people that are in motion compared with static scenes and subjects. In this first School of Drawing course, I have decided to focus on drawing still natural forms and subjects that surround us and should be accessible to anyone watching this film. This means you'll be able to set up a similar arrangement to the projects I am demonstrating or visit similar locations so that you can draw from first-hand observation. Although I'm also going to include the photographs in the resources section. So if you struggle to find a suitable comparable subject, you can easily work from those. To take part in this course, I recommend keeping a sketchbook and carry out each assignment on a double page spread. This way you'll be able to monitor your progress and have a satisfying feeling of filling up a sketchbook. My approach to teaching drawing emphasizes mastering the basic principles, such as proportion, outline, movement, weight and form, before moving on to surface qualities, such as color, pattern and detail. My goal is for you to feel confident with the projects and find them approachable with clear step-by-step -step instructions, helpful tips provided throughout the course. I have structured this course on the seven elements of art. Line, shape, tone, form, space, colour, pattern and texture. This is a complete introductory course in drawing, suitable for beginners, as well as people that are more advanced looking to extend their skills of drawing natural forms. It's designed to get you both outdoors with a sketchbook and also take part in studio projects. Conversely to the just draw what you see approach, I believe there's a wide range of ideas and exercises you can practice that will generally improve your ability to get the animal, plant or rock down on paper. I mix and match ideas I've picked up throughout my career and included a few new ones of my own. Training the eye and hand takes time and practice, but it can be sped up if you follow the exercises in this course.